up, what up, what up, what's going on guys, your boy Jazz, welcome back for another Madden 25 online ranked match, and today, we have the Dallas Cowboys going up against the hottest team on earth right now, the Denver Broncos are playing unreal in real life, Peyton Manning, and this isn't no bandwagon, you can look at my track record, look at my rap sheet, I've been saying this for like the last three, four years, Peyton Manning is one ring away from being the greatest of all time, in my opinion. If he stays with just one Super Bowl ring, I gotta give the, the edge, and I mean, it's it's an eyelash. It's just one championship away to Tom Brady. Now, a lot of people, really quickly before I even get into the gameplay, a lot of people are like, why do you think Tom Brady is the greatest of all time? Over, you know, the Terry Bradshaws, Joe Montana's, John Elway's, Dan Marino's. You guys need to understand and again, this is all my opinion. Feel free to leave in the comment section. I love football talk. So if you guys, you know, want to leave your own opinions on who's the greatest of all time, please do. I love, you know, football talk. So um, the greatest quarterback of all time to me is Tom Brady because he took several, and I mean several, New England Patriots teams to the Super Bowl with some of the worst offensive players that could possibly be on a Super Bowl team. How many people right now can name the starting wide receivers of the first year that Tom Brady went to the Super Bowl? I can't even do it. I can't even do it. I can't even name the wide receivers of the second time he went to the Super Bowl. Why? Because they sucked. Who are they? Jabbar Gaffney, uh, Troy Brown, a bunch of no names. But no matter who he had on his team, he still looked like the best quarterback in the league, no matter who he had on his team. Now, the one year he got an explosive dominant player like Randy Moss, he set records. He wins Super Bowls with bums. He sets records with one Randy Moss. And, I mean, to me, that gives him the edge of the greatest of all time. You look at all the Super Bowl teams that won it, to me, Patriots possibly have of those years when they had the dynasty. Very good defense. Can't take that away, can't take that away from them. But the offense got to be some of the worst offenses of Super Bowl teams history. Their offense sucked. They had no running back. They had no tight ends. They had no wide receivers. But they had Tom Brady and they had a good quarterback. Now, I mean, and they had a good defense. You put Peyton Manning on the same team. Do, does Peyton Manning win Super Bowls with that team? I don't know. You put Joe Montana in his prime on that team. Does he win Super Bowls? I don't know. The guy was lucky he had Jerry Rice. Who, who knows? You know, but you can't play the if scenario. You know, you can't say what if, you know, Jim Kelly won three out of the four Super Bowls. Where would he be? You know, what if Dan Marino won two Super Bowls? You know, where would he be? I mean, you could do that. But, you know, again... It just changes the perplexity of the conversation. Now, this is going on way too long, but that's just my opinion on why I think uh, Thomas Brady is the greatest of all time. So, right there, there's an interception. I'm sorry, son, but no of you. Right there, Claiborne gets an interception. And the Cowboys are a team I enjoy playing with. I know I say that a lot, right? I enjoy playing with every team, but I love playing with the uh, Dallas Cowboys because Des Bryant, Jason Winton, Miles Austin, Tony Romo, DeMarco Murray... Weapons ever. Look at Romo. Sexy no homo when I'm scrambling with Romo. Shout out to Mav though. So we get a run right there. Now Romo's speed is like 70. You know, it's not the fastest in the world, but it's, it's just fast enough for you to be able to get a good six, seven yards if you catch the defense off guard. Right there, we throw an interception. Just bad read by me. I thought my receiver was going to be able to outrun the defender, and unfortunately, it just didn't happen. Old ass shriveled up Champ Bailey <laughs> still caught up to him, and he ends up catching the interception. So, um, right here, you know, stopping a Denver Broncos offense, it's it's not easy. A very difficult task, man. Peyton Manning puts the ball wherever you want it. Now, just to get back into the conversation, greatest of all time, for a scotch. For a scotch. Just, just for a scotch. Hit me out. Hit me out just a little bit. 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 If Peyton Manning wins the Super Bowl this year, do you guys think he's the greatest of all time? Now, you watch uh, First Take. You know, you listen to Skip Bayless. And he says that... Peyton Manning is the greatest regular season quarterback of all time. The guy regular season stats are insane. Insane. I mean, there's really no other quarterback in history that can compete 
what the numbers that Peyton Manning has done in the regular season. They just can't. Now he's flat in the playoffs. But if you give him two rings, is he the greatest of all time? I mean, what do you guys think? First, I would like to know who you guys think is the greatest of all time anyways. And then, if Peyton Manning wins another, does that give him the notch of greatest of all time? I'd, you know, love to know. So, 14-14 ball game right here. Two-minute warning is approaching us. We definitely got to move downfield. Get ourselves in the end zone, hopefully. Right there, DeMarco Murray. Good! Go! Up! Oh, damn it, here goes fast-ass Cromarty with your 98 fast-ass feet running for no reason. He's too damn fast, man. Couldn't he be tired or something? Right here, we go back to the run. And we get ourselves a big play. We end up getting into the end zone. So, going up 21-14 to 14 definitely is an advantage. You got to like. But, we did give him way more than enough time to be able to handle his business. You know, go downfield and score. So, hopefully our defense can come through for us. Right here, playing a little bit of a cover four. Hoping to catch him off guard. He had way too much time in the pocket. But, thankfully, he drops the ball. Right there, we send the blitz on the left side. And we come through with a big, big sack. Third and 17, payment throws to the right. Ah, it looked like that could have been an interception, but we swatted down. Excuse me, fourth and 17, payment steps up in the pocket. He's looking, he goes deep, and we just play smart. We swatted down, and we get really, really, really great field position right here. We do a toss to Murray, and right here, again, in this situation that I am in a lot, I have no problems with going for a field goal. So you see me running the ball. I have no issues with kicking a field goal right here. I don't want to make any mistakes. 24 to 14 at halftime is a tremendous lead for me. Right here, we roll with Romo, and we end up getting to the edge, and we run out of bounds. You know, a couple of seconds remaining, so we don't want to, you know, have to waste any time out if we don't have to. So, again, I'm back on the run, trying to get into the end zone. You know, don't get me wrong, but if it doesn't happen, I'm very fine with it. I have no problems with kicking my, my FG. So, right here, we try a screenplay. We throw it to Murray. Whoop! Whoop! We catch him off guard, and we end up scoring a touchdown just before halftime and that right there is a perfect scenario scenario however it is you want to say it you guys know what i mean we end up scoring a touchdown giving him minimal time to be able to drive down the field and get anything going so hopefully bearing a just boneheaded defensive play by us we should go into halftime up 28 to 14 which is a huge lead you know in the game of madden you know stopping people offenses really it's, it's tough it is well let me put an asterisk by that saying that is tough to stop people offenses. I mean, for me, for me, it's tough to stop people offenses. And you know, anytime I get a lead like this, it's it's a good feeling knowing that I have a, you know an opportunity to not have to struggle. Right now, it's my game to lose. As long as I'm doing what I need to do on offense, there should be no way I lose this game. So I love being in a situation knowing that it's up to my defense. My, I mean, my offense. Excuse me. My defense can fail every time they're on the field. He can score a touchdown every time he touches the ball. Does not matter. As long as I do the same, no way he can win. So, uh, right now, you know, we want to play a little bit of clock control. We have the wheel roll from the backfield. DeMarco Murray, whoop! Oh, spin move, get off me, son. He's so strong. I said he's so strong. He clearly brushes his teeth with pig feet. Not regular pig feet. He wants to pickle pig feet with the athlete's foot. He wants to pig feet with the nail in it. So, as you see, we end up scoring a touchdown right there. And 35 to 14, man, right now, definitely love being in this position because, again, Defense can fail just as they do here. Right here, whoop, ends up hurdling my defender, and he ends up scoring a touchdown right there. And that is very deflating, man. To give up just snap of a finger, blink of an eye, and to give up a touchdown and a kick return. I wish I could do that. You know, I wish I could run left, run right, and uh, magically have a hole. Watch me get nailed. I think I fumble right here. Okay, I juke to the left. I break a tackle. Oh, I'm lying to you. The Michael Murray. Good. Go. Oh, the way, whatever you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Look at the Marco Murray putting the team on his back, though. Mimicking the Denver Broncos, taking the ball to the crib on the kickoff return. And that right there has got to be even more frustrating for him. Because as quick as he got high, he got low. Really, really jumping, jumping low, girl. Jumping, jumping low, girl. He got low really, really fast kick return right to the crib and like if that happened to me and I was in this situation I would just be like I'm not meant to win this game 
I'm not. I catch a break. Maybe I could stop him, get the ball back. Nope, he runs it right back. I'm not meant to win this game. So, you know, nonetheless, man, I feel like we, you know, did a decent job of being able to stop the Broncos, who are a really tough offense to stop, man. Decker, Thomas, Welker, they got, look, nine Thomases on the field, and all of them are good. One of them was an NBA player. Another one was a hockey player. They got all these athletic Thomases on the team. They're all good. <laughs> you know, so um, they're, they're really, really, really tough to stop. You know, it is a mobile pocket QB. I mean, it's a non-mobile pocket QB. But Peyton Manning is a surgeon with the football. He will slice and dice you. Well, that's not a good surgeon tech, uh, kind of. He's he's a, he's a butcher. He will slice and dice you. That, that's better. That's better. Peyton the butcher Manning. So as you see, fourth quarter's here. The game is coming to an end. Uh, we end up catching a pick right there. And I believe uh, we end up accepting his concede. A little bit after. I don't know if I score another touch. No, right here. Hands up offering the seed, which we accept. So, that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. We come through with the Cowboys. Against a very tough offensive team. And I feel like our defense came through. Played well. Offense was phenomenal. You know, not tough to have a phenomenal offense. Running with the Cowboys. Weapons everywhere. But, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, tonight, 9 o'clock, is another Madden gameplay for you guys. I feel like every Sunday, why not? Let's just, uh, since football Sunday, let's throw three Maddens up there. Um, it will be Falcons gameplay, so hope you guys look forward to that. As always, it's your boy GS, and I am out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.